spiritual mantan. Life is this beautiful chaotic roller coaster filled with unexpected twists and turns. Now, we've all been told that the secret to overcoming these hurdles is to dive headfirst into problem solving, right? But what if I told you that the real problem might not be what you think it is? Let's paint a picture together. Imagine you're dealing with money problems, a scenario that's probably not unfamiliar to many. The anxiety, worry, and stress that come with financial struggles can be overwhelming. We're taught to focus on the problem, put in the hard work, and find a solution. But, hold on a second, what if this traditional approach is missing something crucial? Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. But let's tweak that a bit. Maybe the real issue isn't about thinking effectively, but where we're directing our attention. What if, instead of fixating on the problem, we shift our focus to something more hopeful? What if the key to solving problems lies in changing the way we feel about them? Let's peel back the layers here. The real pain in a money problem isn't just the numbers in your bank account, it's the negative emotions associated with it, the anxiety, worry, and stress. What if I told you that the key to solving these problems isn't solely in external changes, but in altering our internal emotional state? Sounds a bit unconventional, right? Stick with me, and let's dive deeper. Have you ever noticed that the most significant pain in a money problem isn't the actual numbers in your bank account. It's the emotions, the anxiety, the worry, the stress. What if, instead of solely focusing on external changes, the key to solving these problems lies in altering our internal emotional state? Sounds a bit unconventional, right? But bear with me, let's dive deeper. Imagine a different approach, one that prioritizes feeling good over constant worry. Instead of exhausting mental energy on finding a solution, what if you just stopped focusing on the problem? Crazy, you say? Well, think about it. How many hours, days, or years have you spent worrying about a problem without a real solution? What if feeling good right now could be the catalyst for change? Picture this, instead of the usual approach that exhausts mental energy in finding a solution. What if you just stopped focusing on the problem? Sounds a bit crazy, right? But think about it. How many hours, days, or even years have you spent worrying about a problem without a real solution? What if feeling good right now could be the catalyst for change? Take a moment to experiment with this. Close your eyes and realize that in this very moment, everything is fine. No urgent problem needs your immediate attention. Focus on tapping into a feeling of peace that's always available to you. It's not about suppressing emotions, but embracing positive feelings. What if changing how you feel about your situation could be the key to unlocking solutions? Take a moment to experiment with this. Close your eyes and realize that, in this very moment, everything is fine. No urgent problem needs your immediate attention. Focus on tapping into a feeling of peace that's always available to you. It's not about suppressing emotions, but embracing positive feelings. What if changing how you feel about your situation could be the key to unlocking solutions? Let's challenge a common belief the notion that constant worry and hard work are the only pathways to solutions. If worry and overthinking were truly effective solutions, wouldn't you have conquered your problems by now? Instead, treat it as an experiment. Change your approach. Prioritize feeling good now. Allow yourself a set time each day to worry, but for the rest of the day, focus on positivity. What's the worst that could happen? Let's challenge a common belief, the notion that constant worry and hard work are the only pathways to solutions. If worry and overthinking were truly effective solutions, wouldn't you have conquered your problems by now? Instead, treat it as an experiment. Change your approach. Prioritize feeling good now. Allow yourself a set time each day to worry. But for the rest of the day, focus on positivity. What's the worst that could happen? Now, let's talk about thinking an invaluable tool in our toolbox. 
but not all thinking is created equal. Worrying, for instance, is a type of thinking based on negative, what-if scenarios. It doesn't contribute to solving problems, it only deteriorates our well-being. Terence McKenna aptly said, worry is preposterous. It's an irrational response that hinders effective problem-solving. Effective thinking should be free from the distortions of our emotional responses. Many of us struggle with the same problems because our thinking is influenced by the emotions tied to them. Picture it like a clouded lens. We can't see the problem clearly. By fostering a positive state of mind, we can use clear rational thinking to address challenges. It's not about abandoning reason, but liberating it from the chains of negative emotions. Effective thinking should be free from the distortions of our emotional responses. Many of us struggle with the same problems because our thinking is influenced by the emotions tied to them. Picture it like a clouded lens, we can't see the problem clearly. By fostering a positive state of mind, we can use clear, rational thinking to address challenges. It's not about abandoning reason, but liberating it from the chains of negative emotions. Now, let's talk action. We've all heard, take action. It's the key to solving problems. But here's a thought-provoking question, if the solution is clear and actionable, why does the problem persist? Action alone is not the ultimate solution. Imagine working tirelessly, making a fortune, and still being plagued by new worries. It's like moving from one problem to another in an endless cycle. So, could it be time to step back, reflect, and ask yourself what you truly want? Now, let's talk action. We've all heard, take action. It's the key to solving problems. But here's a thought-provoking question. If the solution is clear and actionable, why does the problem persist? Action alone is not the ultimate solution. Imagine working tirelessly, making a fortune, and still being plagued by new worries. It's like moving from one problem to another in an endless cycle. So, could it be time to step back, reflect, and ask yourself what you truly want? Sometimes, a moment of pause and reflection provides more clarity than frantic activity. What if the real answer lies? In understanding your true desires and aligning your actions accordingly, it's not about trying even harder, it's about working smarter. Taking a step back doesn't mean inaction, it means intentional action aligned with your core values. Sometimes, a moment of pause and reflection provides more clarity than frantic activity. What if the real answer lies in understanding your true desires and aligning your actions accordingly? It's not about trying even harder, it's about working smarter. Taking a step back doesn't mean inaction, it means intentional action aligned with your core values. So dear friend, as you navigate the twists and turns of life, remember this, the problem you think you have might not be the real problem. It's time to shift your perspective, prioritize feeling good, and let clear, rational thinking guide your actions. Life is a journey, not a constant struggle. Embrace the beauty of the ride, and who knows? The solutions you seek might just reveal themselves when you least expect it. So, dear friend, as you navigate the twists and turns of life, remember this, the problem you think you have might not be the real problem. It's time to shift your perspective, prioritize feeling good, and let clear, rational thinking guide your actions. Life is a journey, not a constant struggle. Embrace the beauty of the ride, and who knows? The solutions you seek might just reveal themselves when you least expect it.